this is Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques and I am here with another find of the week. And the last trip uh, that I made to pick up some things that I bought, this is really one of my favorite pieces. I just cannot get it out of my mind. Um, I love it and I cannot seem to find another one like it online anywhere when I did my research. There is your first hint. But this is an antique wash basin. And so these date back to the 1800s, but it's big, it's very heavy, pretty substantial piece, and absolutely gorgeous. So this is a very rare piece. I don't find anything like it anywhere. Um, but these antique wash basins, or, or little, yeah, they were called wash basins, typically would be put up on top of an antique wash cabinet maybe over a slab of um, marble or something like that since they had water in the in the little basins and they may have had pitchers or some of them have come in sets with a bunch of different pieces I don't know that this one had a set um, but this is a a large very very rare uh, Royal Bond um, antique wash basin and you can see the detail on this piece Look at that face, and it's old. You can see, I'm guessing the late 1800s maybe, but you can see the crazing, which is gonna be normal for a piece this old. That's what crazing is if you come across crazing. And sometimes you will see it in your old antique pieces that are ceramic or porcelain there. You can see it, and it kind of looks like just hairline cracks within the um, texture of the of the piece which is normal you know for age it's not going to look perfect you wouldn't want it to look perfect because then you'd know it's not old um, but it is in excellent condition uh, and you can see that it is like a very light light pale yellow that goes into kind of a chartreuse green and then has these pink handles and it is a large piece there you can see the handles and the side and the side and I'll turn it over here in a second. But um, Royal Bond really was the 19th and 20th century name, trade name, used by Franz and Anton Malam, um, who had, who produced pottery in Bar Bonn, Germany, from 1836 to 1931, and made a lot of porcelain and earthen earthenware pieces. And Royal Bond used a monogram ta with a tower mark. So you'll see that on the bottom. And it appeared on exported pottery where the name Germany was actually added, which is exactly what's on the bottom of this piece. Um, in 1921, that factory was purchased by Villeroy and Bach. But again, I don't see another piece like it. And it would have been used, you know, for bathing, you know, doing, you know, what we call a little spit bath. Um, here you can see a little blemish to it, or I don't know, it may have been like that. Let's see, there you can kind of see. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to try to, first let's measure it so you have an idea of the dimensions. Um, like I said, it's a pretty big piece, and it's about, well really at the handle, it's about six and a half inches tall. And then... I mean, it's a size where you could even could have even put a baby in it, you know, a long time ago and given a baby a bath. That's what I had first thought of when I saw it. And it's about 15 inches across widthwise. And then let's get a good idea of lengthwise at the handle. It's a, probably about 22 inches. So it's a it's a substantial size piece. Um, and then the bottom is very interesting. I'm going to try to flip this over. There you can see the, it's actually got leaves on the side. There you can see the, the leaves and then they're etched with gold gild all around the side of this piece. There you can see some of the crazing again and then the bottom you know, kind of has like a darker reddish pink rim. And then as far as the, um, let's see the, 
the maker's mark there you can see the maker's mark and then there's a second mark on here as well let's see if I can get it in there for you right there Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. So that is an antique wash basin. So it will be up on our website with other antiques and different very unique pieces. I always try to find unique pieces, but this one just captured my heart just because of how unique it is. And then the little face on there, it's just a beautiful, beautiful antique piece and a piece of history, you know? Um, so again, like as, as all antiques are, so be sure and check out all of our beautiful pieces, our antiques and our collectibles and, and our home decor and gardening decor on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com and go give us a like on Facebook and let us know what you collect and let us know where you would put this or how you would use it. I think this piece would be beautiful in a historic hotel or uh, bed and bath, you know, where they have these pieces um, and use them every day with their guests. This piece is just incredible. Or for a collector. I can see this going to a collector as well. Take care and have a wonderful week.